Good day grade 11 STEM students. Welcome to the HP Classroom. In this video, we will be able to tackle mathematical induction. So this is a mathematical technique used to prove a statement, a formula, or a theorem that is true for every natural number. Natural numbers are all positive numbers in the real number system. So, these are the steps in using mathematical induction. The first step is through verification. We need to verify initial values to be true for n is equal to 1, 2, and 3. Next step is the hypothesis of induction. We need to assume that the statement is true for any value of n is equal to k. So, we will replace all n var variables with k. Third step is the assumption. We need to assume that the statement is also true for the value of n is equal to k plus 1. The fourth step is proof. We need to prove the statement using the values we get from n is equal to k and n is equal to k plus 1. So that we can have our conclusion that therefore p of n is true for all positive integers or we will use that symbol z raised plus. So, for our first example, we need to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 until n is equal to n times the binomial n plus 1 over 2 is true for all natural numbers. So in here, we will start with verification. First step. For verification, we need to replace the values of n with 1, 2, and 3. So... We'll start with n is equal to 1. So first, we need to write the first term of the series, which is 1 equals, or we need to equate it with the expression on the right, which is n times the binomial n plus 1 over 2. Now, 1 is equal to, so we need to replace n with 1, so 1 times 1 plus 1 all, all over 2, so after simplifying, we'll be having 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1 is 2 over 2, 1 is equal to 1. So for the second verification, we will let n is equal to 2. So in this case, we need to write the first two terms of the series. So we have 1 plus 2 equals, again, the expression n times the binomial n plus 1 over 2. And then 1 plus 2 is 3, which is equal to n 2 times 2 plus 1 all over 2. So 3 is equal to 2 plus 1, 3 times 2, 6 over 2. Therefore, 3 is equal to 3. So for n is equal to 3, we need to write the first three terms of the series, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3, then write the expression n times n binomial n plus 1 all over 2. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 equals, replace the value of n, 3 times 3 plus 1 over all over 2, then evaluate, 6 is equal to 3 plus 1, 4 plus times 3, 12 over 2, which is equal to 6 equals 6. So after verification, they are all the same. So we now go to the next step, which is the hypothesis. So we need to write hypothesis here. Hypothesis, we need to let 
n is equal to k. So we will replace all n variables in our C, uh, equation with k. So we, have, we will rewrite the equation and replace all the va variables of n with k. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 and then we will put the ellipsis. So change n to k. So we have k equals k oh, we need to put k first okay. k times the binomial k plus 1 all over 2 so that's it that's how to do the hypothesis for the third step we have the assumption for assumption we need to let n is equal to k plus 1. So I will just rewrite it here. Let n is equal to k plus 1. So simply, like the second step, we will rewrite this equation. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus add the ellipsis, then... Replace k with k plus 1. I enclose it with parentheses. Then this k, there will be k plus 1. And for the binomial k plus 1, we will be having k plus 1 plus 1. Because we replaced k with k plus 1. All over so I think this is not yet done because we need to evaluate first the second factor which is k plus 1 plus 1. So again I will rewrite this and evaluate the other part. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 until k plus 1 equals just rewrite k plus 1 then add this to k plus 1 times the binomial k plus 2 all over 2 so that's for assumption so to continue let's have the fourth step which is the proof step 4 is the proof. For proof, again we need to combine the values we get from n is equal to k and n is equal to k plus 1. So I will rewrite it here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 until so let's go back to our previous solution for proof we need to put k this one here ok so we will put k for the first step plus ok just remember this so you will put k first and then you will put k plus 1 for the assumption. Okay, this is k plus 1, and I will put it in a parenthesis. Okay, equals. So we will put this over here k times the binomial k plus 1 over 2. So we have k times the binomial k plus 1 all over 2. And then, to balance the equation, we need, also, we need to put k plus 1 on both sides of the equation. So we will add here 
k plus k plus 1. And then, we are now ready to prove the equation. Now, as we can observe, we can, they have, they, we need to get the LCD for these two terms. So, in order to do that, we need to factor out 1 half. After factoring out, we can see that we have one value for k times k plus 1. And then, we have two halves or two one half for k plus 1. So, we will put 2 times k plus 1. So do not get confused on this step because we simply factor out one half. So you know that there is one half, one half in this term, k times the binomial k plus 1. Then we have two halves for k plus 1. So we put 2 times k plus 1. Okay, so to continue, so as we can see and observe, we have here a horizontal factor. So we have we have the same factor which is k plus 1. So we put 1 half and then we can get so we will write first the common factor which is k plus 1 and write the remaining term which is k plus 2 or we can rewrite it this way the binomial k plus 1 times the binomial k plus 2 all over 2. So we have proof that the assumption and the proof are the same. So we'll just box it here and close them in a box. And we can see that they are equal. So... We can now conclude for our step 5, conclusion, so for conclusion we can say that we will put the symbol for therefore, p of n which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, k, uh, plus n is equal to n times the binomial n plus 1 all over 2 is true for all positive integers or natural numbers. So that's it for the first example for mathematical induction.